they're always like, send nudes. No, I'm not gonna send nudes. I don't know you. Like, why would I even do that? Like, you weirdo. Like, I've known you for five seconds. Like, no. So, today, we are painting my nail. Why are we doing such a boring task? Because I don't have, um, well, I have a lot of video ideas, but, like, they're very involved, and I need, um, time to mentally prepare for them. So, we're doing this, and, um, just so you know, I hate painting my nails, but they also look very good painted, so it's always, like, a battle. And I can't, I refuse to paint them when they're short, and right now they're not short. So, this is what we're doing today, and then we're going to talk about life and stuff. So yesterday, I went to a sleepover, because it was my friend's sleepover, and um, I ate so many, so much junk food. I ate Domino's, like five slices of Domino's pizza, like Swedish fish, popcorn, soda, um, I feel like there's another thing, but like the point is I ate like so much shit, and then today I feel so bad, like so crappy, like my stomach feels awful. Like, my, I'm, like, emotionally in a good mood, but, like, physically, I feel so bad right now. But, um, we're pushing through, so. We, like, went to a pool, and I didn't go in the water, but guess who still got freaking completely soaked? Like, my whole, like, this shirt was completely soaked, this whole thing, my jeans are completely, completely soaked, like, so, like, almost dripping. And, um... Because I was by the side of the pool, you know, trying to just be social. And someone, his brother, decided that it was a smart idea to make the biggest possible splashes to get me wet. And so I was like, like, if this was half of the pool, I was like here. I was like farther away than half. And I still managed to get soaked. So, here we are. Then the next day, we went... We like stayed up and like we watched the sunrise and we went to this park that's really near my friend's house and we just watched the sunrise and it was really nice and pretty and we were like on swings and stuff. It was like a movie scene. It was very um, it was very perfect. I really liked it. And then I got home and I'm like, okay, I'm staying up like the whole time until I get home. Nope. I like knocked. I like fell asleep like immediately. I was so tired. Like, I hadn't slept for, like, 24 hours. I mean, not 24. 20 hours. I just can't run on low sleep. Like, after, like, 8 hours, I start to feel tired, which isn't normal. And I wish it didn't happen to me, but it always does, and it really sucks. McDonald's never called me back. They called me to stop the meeting. And I talked about this in another video, but I completely embarrassed myself over the phone. Like, you know, I would obviously do, because I'm me. And so, I embarrassed myself. I said, damn it, you know. That was not the move, and that happened, and they, it's been like a week and a half, and they haven't called me back, so, of course, like, I'm going to be freaking bored the whole summer, making no money, and I wanted to save up to buy a car, but like, here we are. I keep saying anyway, and I'm so sorry, like, you know how people say like a lot, like, I do that too, but anyway is like, worse than me saying like. It's like, anyway, anyway, anyway. Like, I need to, like, research segue terms. Like, I just say it way too much. It's really annoying. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's just, like, a thing. I'm only halfway. Like, I've only put the, the top, the bottom coat on. Like, I'm so bad at this. And it's, like, all over the place. Like, you can't see it because it's clear. But, like, it's really bad. I hate makeup. I cannot do makeup this day of my life. Funny story. So, once upon a time, the Pika family... When I was like seven, we went to Florida once. And then like two years later, we went again when I was like nine. And then we never went to the beach, even though I begged my mom, because I'd never been to the beach before. We never went. And we went to Disney, which was nice. And after that, we never went on vacation again, ever. We go to New York City every, every like three months, we go to New York City, three to two months. And without fail, every time we go, we're stuck in this stupid, hot, living room. No matter what time of the year, it's like an oven in there. I swear. It's so hot. And we never go outside. We never go to the park. We never, like, do anything. The only time we go outside 
is to go to Spanish parties, which has a bunch of drunk people, and because we're in America, you can't drink unless you're older than 21, guess you can't drink either, so like, we don't have any fun, and then we can't make friends because they're all like old, so like, we're just like, there, like, why are we so bored all the time? And we never go to the city, ever, without fail, every year. So the point is, we don't go on vacation. My dad got vacation days this year, um, so he wants to take us to Puerto Rico, which I'm really excited. There's like this bay. Oh my god, I'm getting distracted. But, um, is this dry? Okay, there's this bay in Puerto Rico, which has a really unfortunate name. It's called Mosquito Bay. Like, why would they name a bay like that? Like, who would be like, oh yeah, wow, I'm gonna get a Mosquito Bay. Like, what the hell? Who thought of that? It could at least be like some cool Spanish name, like, um, La Agua or something. I don't know, something Spanish-y. But no, it's called Mosquito Bay. Anyway, it's beautiful though. It's like one of those bioluminescent, um, um, bays. So they're like glow in the dark. In case you didn't know what bioluminescent meant. I didn't know that until like this year when we have to do like 50 presentations on bioluminescence. It's like this super cool thing. It's like blue and it like you get in the water and it's like blue and glowy and stuff. And it's so cool and you can have like lake like boat rides and when the boats go on the lake you like see like the oars and like you see the like blue and it's so pretty like if you see pictures of it. So it's been my dream since forever, even though this is, this is incredibly dangerous, to go hang gliding. Hang gliding is amazing. It looks so cool. Like you could pretend like you're Superman. Like why wouldn't you want to do it? But like there's a it's really dangerous, like a lot of people die from it. So I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to do that. But like I really want to, like really bad. Like it's so cool. So I wanna do that. And then um what else? Oh, there's like all these hikes and like natural parks and I like love that stuff, so I wanna do that too. And there's like there's a park where there's like a waterfall and you're allowed to like swim in it and like whatever. It's like so cool. Um and then the last thing is behind my grandparents house they have like this huge like not really a jungle but like really thick like vegetation and all that and like my dad would have to like get a machete and like cut it down like that's how thick the vegetation is and i want to do that so i could pretend like i'm indiana jones for a day every year people go on vacation and i get all jealous on instagram and they're like oh my god I just went to italy yellow whatever and i'm all like jealous and then now finally I get to go on vacation. So here we are. Good things happen sometimes. I guess that's a that's a life lesson here. But um yeah, this is boring. Change subject. I downloaded this dating app. Or it wasn't really a dating app, it was I and mean, I guess it kind of it's like Tinder but like for kids. Which is alarming to say, because you know tinder but like but um it's called yubo if you ever heard of it and it's like the dumbest freaking thing and you can send pictures through the app and as you can imagine when dealing with like horny freaking teenager boys that's not a good idea like i don't understand why they made that a thing to do you know but they did the genius creators of this app. Anyway, so you get to swipe on people and it's kind of, like, entertaining. Also, like, very, like, demeaning that you get to just judge people by their looks. But, sometimes, you're talking to people that are really annoying, that text you first, hey, and then, first of all, it's not really interesting. Second of all, they text you first. And you're just like, hey, what's up? And you like carry the conversation and then they respond in one word. Who the hell in their right mind talks to someone first? First. And it's like, hey. And then they were like, okay, yeah, good, right. No questions, no nothing, just like one word. Like, why the fuck do you text me first if you're not into the conversation? Don't text me then. Just don't text me. Like, I just don't understand that. So like, it just defeats the whole purpose. Like, if you don't want to talk to someone, Normal people, you know, not crazy people, they do this thing called not talking to you first. Because why would you talk to someone you don't want to talk to? 
mind-blowing idea there. Take notes. But they do that all the time. It's so freaking annoying. And, um, so all the guys are annoying. They're mostly boring. They don't carry conversations. They're always like, send nudes. No, I'm not going to send nudes. I don't know you. Like, why would I even do that? Like, you weirdo. Like, I've known you for five seconds. Like, no. I was like, why do guys do that when they can literally, like, porn is, like, accessible, like, on the internet. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, why do you, like, I just don't understand guys' brains. Like, why do you, are you going out to talk to this random girl when you can just get it online? It just doesn't, like, make sense to me. I just don't get guys. Like, maybe that's a problem. I don't know. But, like, that happened. I'm always like, no, I don't freaking know you, weirdo. Why would I do that? It just doesn't make sense to me. But, yeah, that happened. I'm going to turn the camera off because it's been filming for 15 minutes. And I'm not even to, like, first of all, I can't focus. And I'm doing my, it with my left hand now, so that's dangerous. And, um, second of all, it's going to be a while until I finish this. So I'm going to turn this off. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Okay. So, this is the final product. Don't make fun of me. My mom already did. And so, look at that. Look, okay, I know the edges look really bad, but trust me, it goes away after, like, this first day. Like, after the first day, it washes off because it's on the skin. So, yes, it looks really bad, but... It, it's going to go away. Also, you can tell how dedicated I am to this channel. Because I was talking the whole time instead of focusing on my nails. So, you can tell, like, how dedicated I am. Right? Okay. And, um... Can you say something? Oh, and then the bubbles. Apparently, you're not supposed... I was taught by a beauty guru I know that you're supposed to put... Okay. You're, you're going to do this. That you're apparently supposed to put... To, that guru was not me. <laughs> that, you're, that you're apparently supposed to put four coats. No, not four coats. You're supposed to put a bottom coat and a top coat. So then I put two of like the color. And um, my that may have resulted in the bubbles. And why it didn't dry completely. Like look at the... Look at... Where is it? Look at all these like marks. Like you can't even see it. Just imagine them. Just imagine, it's not focusing. Don't worry about it. Just imagine all the marks and it didn't dry. So, <laughs> that was the feel of dumb experiment. That's why I don't do my nails. That's why Lena does my nails usually. And Juliet tries to do my nails, but no offense, she's not that good at it. She's like worse than me. I mean, no, she's not. She's better than me, but she's still bad. So, are you going to say anything? Mom was making fun of me, but she's, I'm her daughter, so it's basically her fault. So, like, I don't know what to say about that. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye. Adios. See you, bye. Okay.